Hey, Beta Climbers, what's up? So welcome to another one of my weekly episodes. Today we're gonna to try something out new. So let's roll the intro and let's get started. Welcome back. So what's new? Well, we're gonna try something out new, and I'm calling it Mail Time, or Mail, mail. I actually don't have a name for it. I guess Mail Time is good. So we got some written comments down here. Now we got a problem, I don't know how to read. Anyway, you guys sent me in comments, and I decided, hey, I'll take these comments, and instead of just typing them out, some of these comments are good enough to even make videos of. So I'll do like a Mail Time, and try to answer them in uh, video form. I might be able to take mail time and turn it into a whole separate like series. So maybe I'll be able to post videos Thursday and Saturday. We'll see. I'm pretty, uh, I got some big news, so I'll be pretty busy. But I'll tell you that in the end of the episode. But let's get right into these comments. Okay, so anyway, Haz writes, After watching a rope solo, I went out and bought two micro tractions because I wanted to try rope soloing, but I don't have a Grigri. I use a Black Diamond ATC guide. Do you have any tips on how to switch from micro to ATC? I can't figure out. I've been thinking of using Prusix to pull myself up to release the weight, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get busy on, I think I know what you're talking about here. So let me uh, set up a scenario and try to solve it for you and see what we what we can get out of it. Okay, Haz, I'm sorry I didn't read your whole comment, but I'm trying to save a little bit of time for everybody. If you want to read this whole comment, uh, I guess I'll post it down below in the, in the description. But basically Haz's problem is he wants to know how to go from these micro tracks instead of into a gree gree into an ATC. And I can see how that could be tricky. Uh, I, I did comment him and tell him, I told you that uh, it's probably better just to invest in a gree gree. So it's a pretty good tool. But hey, just for uh, content sake, let's give it a try and see what happens. So let's go up here, get, get up on this rope a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go up a little higher. Okay, so now we're in our tracks and you want to get into an ATC. Okie dokie. Let's see, how would I do this? Now, of course, this isn't the safety standard and I'll post up a, uh, the, the safety standard, I think Pretzel made and I'll put a link down below of what they say rope soling should be. This is all just my opinion and uh, fun to watch. So, okay, let's do this. Let's go into belay mode here like so. Like we're gonna go into belay mode. Okay, now what would I do? Well, I think what I would do here is first I would tie a catastrophe knot because it's better to look stupid than look dead. So we're gonna tie a catastrophe knot. And then if you tie a slip knot here on the side where if this end pulls, it just pulls onto the slip knot and this end pulls the slip knot out and this end pulls it tight. So let's cinch that up like so. Let's see what we can do here. There we go, let's cinch that up like that. Let's see what happens. Now, let's grab, do we have another locker beater? Let's put a locking beater on that so it can't go anywhere. Okay, now let's get into this. So to get into that, it's probably best to use some kind of Prusik knot, but if you're He-Man, you could probably just uh, unclip from them. So let's unclip from this one. Okay. And then let's unclip from this one. <clears throat> not sit into our ATC. Okay, we're sitting our ATC. Now what happens? Let's get out of this little knot and then we're in belay mode. So that's an option. Uh, pretty cool, huh? I guess it works. <sighs> okay, Taylor Trotter writes, what do you do for work that you're climbing in so much dirt? Well, I'm just a dirty boy. <laughs> well, I do like rope access work and those places are often pretty filthy. So that's why. Oh, that was a short comment. All right, next one. Okay, so this comment is from Raphael. This guy's a pretty good commenter, pretty smart guy. You know he knows his stuff and uh, he knows ropes. 
because he says here also your two to one is actually a three to one and that technique is usually called rads when i first read that i thought he was mistaken i made a mistake he was right let me set that up and show you what he's talking about okay so i think this comment came from my how to uh, jumar video and i'm jumaring up like this using this technique where i just pull and then pull this up and i said that this is, could be a two to one that i see some people do and because i usually count two to the load and then one pulling and it is a two to one if someone down there is pulling it but some magic happens when you're pulling it and all of a sudden this is actually a three to one and if you measure it out i actually have to pull three lengths of rope where a person down there has to pull two lengths of rope and another way to look at it is instead right now when i'm sitting on it I have half my weight on, pulleys are fun, aren't they? I have half my weight on this and half my weight on this if someone's pulling down, right? So my weight is split up into two parts. But as soon as I put my weight on this, now my weight is spit, split up to three equal parts, making it a three to one. Uh, essentially, my hands, you could think my hands are also a pulley. And this could be like redirected up to somebody or something. So that's pretty cool and it's it, obviously you have to pull more rope because you have to go like this but there's more uh mechanical advantage going on here so yeah Raphael, you're right i lost that argument and uh okay well what, what's next okay so that concludes mail time if you have any questions leave them down in the comments down below and then i could add to a list and we'll do another mail time or something like that i probably won't do them uh every saturday because that'll kind of interfere with the videos i already have scheduled for you guys but I can make some more content. Maybe I'll post it up in the middle of the week on Thursdays or whatnot. So if you're excited for that, subscribe. You'll see that. Uh, no, big news. Why is this wall looking pretty empty? Well, I bought a travel trailer. I'm heading down to West Virginia and we're going to do some climbing in the River Gorge and by Somerville and everything like that. So if you're really excited for seeing stuff like that, go ahead and subscribe. Um, that's it. Josh Perry, see you in the next one. Climbing out of here.